Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 15 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. The aftermath of Erisitha's death is weighing heavily on our buddy Cloud and he has a vision of old Sephi telling him to head north past the snowy fields so we naturally oblige. After scaling some cliff crevices, we find our way back into the open world and make our way up to Icicle Inn. Now, I was surprised how many people didn't actually know about this, but you get some really cool story moments by entering this house. You can watch some video diaries in here from Professor Gast and his missus Ifalna. And, provided you've not been living under a rock for the last 25 years, you'll know that this is actually Aerisith's mom and dad. We'll learn a little bit about what Genova is and where it came from, how the weapons were created by the planet to protect itself, and a home video capturing the last moments of Professor Gast's life before Hojo and Shinra f*** him up and kidnap baby Aerisith and Ifalna. After this brief story segment, we buy a couple of weapons for Yuffie and Barrett and attempt to head down the mountain. Turns out Elena from the Turks is here and fancies picking a fight with Cloud. He's like, fuck that and fuck you, and she ends up rolling down the mountain. We can then grab an old map that's stuck to the wall, and this nice kid decides he's going to give us his snowboard for some reason. Ah, come on, mate. This is a turn-based RPG. When am I ever going to need a snowboard? So, even though Cloud has just witnessed the death of his beloved, and the story has started to take a little bit of a more serious route, we're still forced to go through this f***ing bite minigame. Besides from the CPR bit in Junin, this is probably my least favourite part of the entire game. I'm not sure whether it's just because of the timing of it and where it actually is in the game, or the fact that it's just really f***ing hard. I've just never really got on with this whole section of the game, including what's coming up next. We land in an area called the Great Glacier, and we've got to use the map we picked up to navigate through the area. There are a couple of nice items here, like the safety bit and the added cut material, but if you spend too long out in the cold, you collapse and you get sent to Mr. Holzoff's cabin. If you're a bit like me and just have to collect absolutely everything, then you have to return to the area and in all probability end up passing out again, and again, and again. As much as this is my favourite game in the world, this whole section from Icicle Inn to the base of Gaius Cliff just does my f***ing boxing and I'm always so genuinely relieved when it's over. Is it just me? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this section of the game in the comments below. Anyway, after grabbing the goodies that we want, including the Alexander materia from this woman in the cave, we can finally start to ascend Gaius Cliff. It's a bit of a shame that this is a no random encounters run as there's some really cool enemies in here and we miss out on an absolutely badass enemy skill in Magic Breath. But we do, however, have a few force battles here with these bats and these big fuck off icicles. With the path now created, we can finally continue onwards and prepare for the boss of this episode, Skizo. Right then, YouTube, here we are. We're inside Gaius Cliff, Gaius Cliff, whatever you want to call it. And we're about to take on the infamous two-headed dragon, Skizo. I think it's Skizo or Shizo, one of the two. Now, this boss, back in the day, I struggled on for a long, long time. But, with a little bit of careful planning, this can actually be one of the easier boss fights, sort of, towards the... Well, I suppose we are entering the, 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 the latter stages of the game now, but it, but it can be one of the easier bosses with just a little bit of forward planning. So let me show you what we've done uh, equipment-wise. So Barrett, we picked up the micro laser for Barrett in uh, Icicle Inn, just so that means it's, it's a little bit extra attack power than the rocket punch, and he can also go in the background now as well. We've also given him the ribbon, as you saw with those Icicle enemies and those bats. It was imperative that we had ribbon on him so he could still do the curing so he didn't get silence we've also given him the aurora armlet now this was on him in the previous boss fight i think it was in genova in the genova life boss fight now this boss attacks with both fire and ice and this aurora armlet will drain cold attack so whenever he's getting attacked with a cold attack he's just not going to take any damage he is going to be healed by that. Um, if we move on to Yuffie, again, we picked up a weapon for her in Ice Colin. We picked up the Hawkeye for her. She already had the Ice Ring equipped. We've just also picked up a Fire Armlet as well. Now, that Fire Armlet drains Fire Attack. So not only is, we, is Yuffie not going to be taking any Ice damage, she's also going to be getting healed by the Fire Damage as well, which is fan dabby dozy and moving on to cloud i've not trained i've not changed anything with cloud but we got the dragon armlet from the red dragon in temple of the ancients and that will drain half the damage for fire cold and lightning attacks so again all right he's, he's not going to be draining the full lot but cloud is going to be cloud's going to be able to be healing himself 
well, healing him, not healing himself, but Cloud will be getting healed by the dragon attacks. Uh, Okie dokie, so material-wise, Cloud is exactly the same as the last boss fight. There's nothing really else to tell you about that. Fire or long range HP plus counter attack and enemy skill. Moving on to Yuffie, obviously is getting that Hawkeye weapon from Icicle in. We've been able to materia, materia her out a little bit. So we've given her Kujata, Steel, added effect and poison in her weapon as well as barrier and all. What I will also say at this point is this boss, this point in the game moving forwards now, it's going to be nice to be able to steal from bosses because a lot of the item, a lot of the bosses moving forwards will have some nice items to steal. This one in particular has a protect ring. I think it's a protect ring. This boss has a protect ring, which will be a nice little bit of equipment for later on in the game. So that's why we've given, we, we've left steel on Yuffie. Now if we move on to Barrett, again, micro laser, lots of nice materia slots, so we've been able to uh, materia Barrett out a little bit. So we've given him Bahama, costs a hell of a lot of MP, and because he's going to be the primary healer, don't really think we're going to be using it. We've also given him the sense materia. Reason being for that is, when you kill one of the dragon heads, it does like a last chance saloon attack. It's like a lightning based explosion kind of thing. And that is a full area of atta effect attack to all party members. So when one head dies, it will do that. So it's really, really important that I don't kill both heads at the same time. Because if I do, I'm well and truly f***ed. So put the sense on so we can at least see if and when we need to stop doing area of effect attacks and if both die we only want one to die at any one time so that's the reason that i've put the sense material on him just so we can keep tabs on that so we're giving him all and lightning and then fire and all as well and then these are exactly the same as they were for the last boss fight right then here we go let's go and kick shizo slash skizo's ass shall we right then right then here we go Right, Yuffie, straight away, I want you to steal. I can't remember whether it's the left or the right head. And as you can see, she's just not taking any damage there. Cloud, you are going to get healed. Oh, no, you are not going to get healed by that. Okay. Um, right. Okay, I may have made a mistake there. Barrett, um, are you going to get... Right, okay, no, that has really, really gone to shit. Um... Right, let's cure Cloud. I need to get back on track here. I think... So, did he have anything to steal or not? I completely lost track of that. I couldn't steal anything. Okay, so it means he does have something. Cloud, you can try, please. Barrett. Right, sense. Turn that on. Yuffie. Steal. Cloud, attack. Oh, sh! The bed. Um, right. Barrett, cure. Cloud, cross slash on that head. Yuffie, steal on the right head, please. Cloud, enemy skill, trine. Barret, big shot. Oh, or shall I do mind blow? Take some MP away. Um, no, we'll big shot, I think. Big shot, that head. The left side. Yuffie, steal again, please. The right side. Cloud, enemy skill, Shrine again, please. Does someone want to explain to me why that armlet's not working? On Cloud, because I've got absolutely no fucking idea. Uh, sense. You can sense the other head now. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Oh no shit, Yuffie, steal. Cloud, you can shrine again. Okay, Cloud's dead, I think. Oh no, not quite. Uh, yeah, shrine. Still can't steal anything. Barret, right, you are gonna have... Oh, Cloud's dead. Cloud is dead. Right, Barret. Where are my high potions? Not high potions, Phoenix Downs, there they are. Phoenix Down. oh Christ, I'm running out of these. Um, Yuffie, steal. I want this, I want this protect ring, please. Not that one, it's the other one. There we go. I think it's the right head. There we go, protect ring, thank you. Right, Cloud. What can you do for me, mate? Uh, I want you to... Not magic. Enemy skill. Trine. Please. Barret, what are we doing health-wise here? 14,000 and 12,000. Okay, we're still alright for some area of effect attacks. So, what I'm going to do... Let's try Bolt 2. Yuffie. What have you got summon-wise? Gujarta, maybe? Yeah, all right. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, thank God for that. Thank you. I think I fucked up here. I have majorly fucked up here. Um, right. Phoenix down on Cloud, then. I've only got four Phoenix Downs left. I need to make sure that Cloud doesn't die another three times. Oh, you absolute... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. What an absolute pudding. Right, clear Tranquil, please. Oh my god. I've just healed him. Oh man. Well, at least these two can't actually die at the moment. So, right, Yuffie. Attack. Cloud. Enemy skill. Trine. Barret. Big shot. That thing. Oh, I should have bloody cured, Shona. Yuffie, attack. Can you stop it? Oh, man. Oh, man. I have... I, I, I've, I've not done good here. I have not done good here. I have done a, I have done a wrong. I have done a wrong massively. Trying. Oh fuck no. Oh no. I I don't know what to do here because I'm running really low on Phoenix downs. Oh, shit. I'm... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Um... Problem is, it's going to be really, really difficult for me to get a game over as well. It's like, just, just let it run down. I've got one Phoenix down left, and I can't really afford Cloud not to get any experience. Ah, uh, let's just see if we can. Let's just see if we can keep him alive. Let's give him a high potion. 
Cloud, enemy skill, Trine, Barret, Magic, Cure. I mean, Cure all here. Yuffie, Attack. For fuck's sake, man. Oh, Christ, Andy's not bleeding sadness anymore, is he? Ah! I am at a loss here. Because it's going to take forever and a day for these two to die. But... Um... Die, no, maybe not die now, but... Alright, Barret. Cure on Cloud. You, uh... This is now where I'm struggling. I don't know whether to carry on... I don't really know whether to carry on here... Or just wait for him to kill me if that is actually going to happen. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on with Yuffie and Barrett. Um, but yeah, I have got absolutely zero Phoenix Downs left. So, if we encounter any issues with the following boss... I'm, I'm really fucked. So, right, okay, well, let's just crack on then. Let's just crack on. Um, let's maybe... Yeah, no, let's just big shot. Because these two just aren't dying. <laughs> these two just are not dying at this moment in time. So, and with no Phoenix Downs left, I can't revive Cloud. I'm just going to have to crack on. We are just going to have to soldier on and just see what happens. You free attack. Yeah, if anybody in the comments while you're watching this can tell me why that armlet... I'm using on cloud hasn't worked. I'd be really grateful. <laughs> right. Um, I... Attacks are doing... Attacks are doing okay, but ideally, I want to start doing a little bit more damage now. Um... Okay, well, one of them is going to die well before the other here. So, uh, Barrett as Oh, it's Yuffie. Um, Trine. You can... Do we clear... No, let's grease lightning. Oh, actually, maybe clear tranquil might have been a better idea there. Whoops. Um... Is that going to heal her? Yes, it is. Pirates, maybe you just restore yourself? Hang about. How close is he to death? Not quite there yet. Okay. This is going to be make or break here. This is going to be make or break. Because when he does his when he does his massive RKO out of nowhere at the end. I'm I don't know here now. I'm, I'm Do you know when I said this is quite an easy boss with some forward planning? I'm kind of not going back on that a little bit. Right, 
Right, well, the right head skill power is now used up, so she can't be healed anymore, I don't think. Barret, attack. Yuffie, attack. Barret, 442. Provided this doesn't crit. Ah, oh, hang on. Barret, cure. You cure Yuffie. Yuffie, I want you to bio. And it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. Um, Barret, attack. Yuffie, attack. Right. One of them's dead. How much damage is this doing? Okay, enough. They're still alive. That's fine. Right. Barret. Cure. Or do I not? Or do I just wait? No. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a cure. And then we'll cure Yuffie. Oh, Yuffie's dead. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. I don't know what to do now. Is it just gonna have to be an attack vest with Barrett? What health are we on here? Still got 10,000 HP. Christ. This is just going to be a massive slog fest now. I'm just hoping I can keep him alive. So I tell you what. We're going to do a cut here. Right to the very end if we're still alive. And we'll see if we can survive the final attack. We'll be right back. Right, so the, the left head has used all its power up now. And I think probably two more attacks should do it. So... Right, yeah, he's got 296 HP left, so this should do it. And based on the last RKO out of nowhere, he should survive this pretty comfortably. And he has done. And that's Skizo slash Shizo done. Christ alive! Well, it's a little bit disappointing that I've not got any of the experience and the AP for for Yuffie and Cloud there, but hey, we, 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 we've beat the boss. Here's just hoping now that the next boss fight, I'm not going to need to use a lot of Phoenix Downs because we've got none. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do remember to give a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and don't forget to check that little notification bell to let you know when these videos do go live. I do also now have a Buy Me A Coffee page, so if you would like to support the channel in another way, you can check out the link below. If you want to see what's happened in the Final Fantasy VII No Random Encounters Challenge so far, you can check out this playlist right here. And if you want to see what's been happening in my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough, you can check out this playlist right here. My name's Matt, better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.